Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be presenting you my latest uh, addition to the Steam Mine, the Grand Steam Mine collection, as you can see down there. Um, I got this from British Heart Foundation. It's a Black and Decker Stowaway Travel Iron Model SW101, made in Taiwan. I've got the original box for it there. It also came with the original filler for it, which is here. A bit of pour some water in there. Uh, I've already tested this out and uh, I wasn't very happy by what happened. Put it this way, I nearly received third I nearly received third degree well second or third degree burns from what happened. Um, obviously I didn't realise how hot travel irons actually get. But this one heats up ridiculously hot and I was ironing uh, I can't remember, I was just testing it out on some fabric and I went to empty the tank because you know I like to save the water and I didn't realise it actually heats up the water in there and like a lot of my other irons which don't do that this one did and I poured out hot water on, uh, and some of it fell on my hand this one you can detach the uh... Is it just filling that in there I'm getting a bit nervous using this as well my hands shaking a little bit alright I think can you fill a bit more Yes, hang on. Yes, sir. No, sir. Three bags full. <laughs> no, I was going to use it as that. I don't think we need to use full load. Uh, what we're doing... Oh, why have I poured it back in there? Hmm. That's the Supreme Steam one that I've just used today, actually. That's why it's just been, that's been left there. That's the Russell Hobbs Supreme Steam one. They've got a grand collection of ten. Uh, this one came with a stowaway bag, actually, for it. So I used that instead of... Uh, because I don't know if you've noticed how I, you can see that I put them all in uh, sandwich bags. Hang on, Let's keep that there it's just so I. Yeah, I'm in my pajamas because it's later at night. And I was just doing some ironing for tomorrow because I've got British Heart Foundation tomorrow. And I thought you know I might as well just. I haven't done a video of this one yet. I still haven't recorded the house iron yet, which is a Russell Hobbs one. It's like this the range. Two, it's the range like below my super well, two ring, ranges below my supreme steam. Nice, like uh, candy cane coloured um, cable. I like that. The only thing is, it's annoying is that the cable's at the side, but this will get lethal hot. Like, it heats up within about 20 seconds, not even that, even hotter than that. But I don't know what the volt is. Well, you, you can change it obviously to suit the needs of the country. It hasn't got a light to indicate it's heating, but that's started heating and already we've got about 10 degrees coming out of there now. Let's just see what we can get. I'm not lying to you when I say how fast that heats up. There you are. You, can get there. you have to press this button if you don't want it. There you are, that's your steam. You press that for dry ironing. I mean, look at that. I'm not even doing anything and that's just already... Like a, that's like always like the Orient Express. So I'm just going to be ironing this um, sheet that I picked up from British Heart Foundation. That I'm going to be put, doing a, a test cycle in my meter with, and it will be used on uh, any well when I eventually get a washing machine of my own. Well, washer dryer of my own. Um, that's already like about 45 degrees. <laughs> Right, this is quite hard to hold because I'm always iron my left hand, so I've got to hold it like this, as you can see. The little bit that I've got from the tripod there. So this is what it's along, it's a double sofa throw. So I'll be used on a woolen 30 cycle tomorrow just to see how I've used it. Well, I'm doing dry ironing at the moment, but it's nice and easy to hold. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to use up all that water. I mean, blimey, it's used up all that water. But you know, it's, it smells like a uh, like a bakery when it's on. So I quite like that. Irons have got very nice smell. Should we do some steam ironing? Yes. Oh yes. It's a nice style though. 
I, I, I believe this is 1980s. I mean, look at that. It's just drinking that water. Um, the, the, the box looks 1980s. It was literally unopened. When I opened it, it's like brand new. So maybe the owners, but then again, owners must have used it a couple of times. But then again, it's a travel iron, so obviously you wouldn't use it as your normal house iron. I'm just going to be constantly ironing over this. I'm just trying to get rid of all that water in there. My gosh, it's like the Orient Express. I know what it's going to do in a minute. It's going to shoot out like a large load of water, isn't it? There you are. Yeah, as you can see, hang on. I can put this down. Blimey, that's hot. <laughs> I do get a bit nervous using this sign after what happened, but yeah, it's, it's good fun though. Let's see. It's quite nice actually not having music on in there, because I, I was getting a lot of copyright in that, so I just thought, nah. Especially if I'm setting up my videos to monetization, so. I should open an ironing business, to be honest. I'm just trying to use it up. There's no way I'm pouring that back. Aye, aye, aye. I can feel that burn in my hand. That smells so nice, it does. This thing's a ceramic sole plate. There we are. Black and liquor stay away. To be honest, it reminds me of a toy iron more than anything. That's what I would probably say this reminds me of. You can hear it. You can see it's all steamed up in there. Let's just get that last bit out. So what do you do if you do that? It, there's like a little rod in there that plunges that hole. Ooh. That's a lot being released there, that is. I think it's my scene in <laughs> It's now, it's now reaching, <coughs> it's now reaching the end of it, to be honest. Now, sorry it's not a very, not a very professional video, it's just a very quick thing that I've decided to do. Because I need to do a video on this, and I thought, well, I'd rather that be one less video to do tomorrow. I can just use it as a steamer. Just going to let that steam itself out. I think it's done. A little bit more. Okay, Black and Decker, you have finished your. Okay, so that's off, and I'll probably be leaving that for a while to cool. Anyway, thanks for watching that one. Just do a overview. Watch, I don't burn myself on the Supreme Steam one. In comparison to size, let's bring the Supreme. She might as well feature. No, yeah, that's the size comparison there. There's a Supreme Steam. You get three of those and then I can have three Supremes. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. You can have... Oh yeah, I didn't show you, that's what I did. And uh, up there, look. I hear a symphony. So if you look at that and then look at the album cover up there, it's done in the style of that. Yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you I did that. And uh, yeah, I've had one person ask me to do a video of this. It's a box I made of a Service Quartz 6033. And there was one on eBay the other day. And uh, yeah, it's lost. Oh, it's, someone's taken it, I mean. And uh, there it is, look. Florence. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, so hopefully we'll, there'll probably be a catch-up video tomorrow at British Heart Foundation. Um, but if not, um, well, there'll be some pictures on my Facebook about it and everything, and probably on Instagram and everything. So, yeah. Oh, shirt's a bit bad there. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.